Edexcel Corpio, Calculus 6, Volumes of Revolution and the Mean of a Function. 6.3, Calculating the Mean of a Function. So here we've got a graph of a function f of x and we can see that the area has been defined between x equals a and x equals b. So the pink shaded rectangle that's been added now onto the diagram has been drawn in the same interval such that it has the area equal to the area underneath the original function. So it's a bit like taking the area underneath this original function and pouring it into a container to see how deep the same area will be. And it's the depth or the mean of that function that we are calculating. The height of this rectangle is called the mean value ym. And it's the mean value of the function in the interval a to b. This notation means that we are looking at the mean value of the function from x equals a all the way up to x equals b. So here the area underneath this function is equal to the area of this rectangle and the height of that rectangle is ym, the mean value of the function. So the area underneath the curve, the original function, is the integral of f of x dx from x equals a to x equals b and that same area is equal to the area of the rectangle which is b minus a times the height y m and therefore the mean value is given by the mean value of y is 1 over b minus a times the integral of f of x dx from x equals a to x equals b. So it's this formula here that can be used to find the mean value of a function across a range a to b. So in this example we're going to find the mean value of f of x where f of x is x times 4 minus x across the range x equals 0 to x equals 4. So we want to find the area underneath this curve and to consider that area as a rectangle and find the mean value of this function across that range. So when using this formula a is 0, b is 4 and the height of the rectangle is y m, the mean value of the function. So ym is 1 over 4 minus 0 times the integral from 0 to 4 of the function, which is x times 4 minus x dx. So that's a quarter of the integral of 4x minus x squared dx. And now we can integrate up to 2x squared minus the third x cubed from 0 to 4 and then subbing each of the limits in we get 2 times 16 is 32 minus 4 cubed over 3 minus a quarter of the bottom limit is 0 and that gives us a mean value of this function of y m equals exactly 8 thirds. So the height of that rectangle would be exactly 8 thirds and that is ym. So make sure you identify the a and the b values um, and f of x is ready to be integrated, sub everything into this formula and it will give you ym, which is the mean value or you can think of it as the height of that rectangle across the same interval 0 to 4. And that brings us to the end of volumes of revolution and mean of a function.